East Texas Hold'em, new Beyonce, 184. So Jelly Roll and Luke Combs are now pop stars. Beyonce is now a country star. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first side of the apocalypse. <laughs> it's the end times, everybody. I think it's catchy. I like Beyonce as country. Can I be honest? I love it, and I hate that I love it. I think mm-hmm. it's really fun. Uh, the world was confused a little bit, but also kind of saw it coming, and she wore her like cowgirl get up to the Grammys mm-hmm. the other day. And I can't help but imagine there was some sort of dinner table conversation with her and Jay-Z where he, we saw a preview, right, of his conversation at the Grammys and his comments about Beyonce and how she never won Album of the Year. And I feel like he, one of them had the comment, well, gosh, man, if I made a country album, I'd win all the, I'd probably win CMA Album of the Year, I'd get Country Album of the Year. And then she went to the studio and cranked it out and now it's going to be a sensation. So It works. I was going to say, she might just win the album of the year. I think there's a possibility. That's new Beyonce got them country vibes. For when you're so desperate, you turn to the worst possible place. This is the Love Doctors on the Playhouse in the Morning. Yee-hoo, yee-hoo. <laughs> Love Doctors, she thinks my tractor is sexy. I'm just kidding. Beyonce going country, zero going country. Still in country vibes. Love Doctors, Love Doctors, you are the love gurus. How do I settle this argument I'm having with my husband? I, for... Christmas did buy him some cologne, so I did this to myself. But now he wears it and he puts way too much on and he gets compliments, supposedly. And it's people just commenting on, wow, that's quite the cologne, but he thinks that it's really exciting to people that he has this scent on. How do I convince him he needs to do smaller doses? I think you just kind of have to say exactly that. Hey, the cologne smells wonderful. However, it's a little bit too strong. How about you try? one to two sprays because it's overwhelming and yeah everyone can smell it but it's because they're over smelling it less is more with with i think fragrances and if you're not somebody that does a spritz here and there you probably are overdoing it i think that's a it's a novice mistake he's new to it right you bought it for him and he's excited about it and he's just dousing it on him and just a one little squirt squirt can go a long way i have the issue i overspray but I'll never learn my lesson. One little squirt, squirt, go wrong way. That's actually the story of my conception. (laughs) My dad told me that story once. Love doctors, love doctors. You are the love gurus. You guys are going to initially judge me, but bear witness to what I think is good evidence that I should have an affair. What? Bear witness, Amy K. No, no. Bear witness. My wife and I have been married for 12 years this year, and I feel like she's less interested in me. Well, when we first got together, technically speaking, I was seeing multiple women, and something about having to convince me to be with her seemed to turn her on. I feel like this would ignite a spark between us if she felt like other women were interested. So I don't only think I should have an affair. I think I should be openly talking to other women to save my marriage. Do you think this could subtly be the spark that ignites an inferno of love? That's like step 99. We're still at step one. Let's just, let's take it a couple steps. Maybe tomorrow with Valentine's Day, you kind of go that extra mile and get her flowers, cook her dinner, try to put some, some vibes out there, get the passion back. I think there are other things you can try. Let's jump up to step 20, marriage counseling. Yeah, you know Cheating what? is way, way, way down on that list. It's maybe like a last, mm-hmm. <laughs> last thing. Have you even just said like, hey, something feels off? Yeah. Is everything cool with you? You still into this? Is there anything I could be doing? You, you maybe just, yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> maybe jump it in. Yeah, you're jumping way too far ahead. People also grow and change. While that might have, in <laughs> fact, been true for her. Back then. Back then, you know, 12 plus years ago. That doesn't necessarily mean anything for now. And that you were also a guy she was interested in and like kind of seeing at the time, not her husband in 12 years. Yeah. It's going to hit different. Yeah. Now that she has you and you're doing that, I don't think it's going to re spark the flames you're thinking of. I think it's going to spark your clothes on fire. Okay. It would probably be the thing that if she was kind of like one foot out the door would push the whole body out the door, Mm -hmm. not spark the, as you put it, inferno. Great idea, though. No, great, idea. really good terrible idea. idea. Love doctors, love doctors. You are the love gurus. I thought my wife was joking at first, but I think she might be interested in starting an OnlyFans. She's been reading a lot of articles about women that have made just killings on this website. 
I laughed. I said, well, if you can make that kind of money, you go right ahead. I didn't think she was serious, though. And I think that she has been doing things to prepare herself <laughs> to get on OnlyFans. There's been some odd outfits that have showed up at her house. And she purchased what I believe is called a ring light, leading me to think that OnlyFans is right around the corner. How do I tell her? I'm not actually thinking she should do this. Okay, well, you kind of told her that she should. Uh, my friend's sister is on OnlyFans, and that girl is living life. And it's like, you get that in the back of your head where you're like, <laughs> I should start one of those. I'm not really going to. But it looks like your wife is actually taking these steps when she had that idea. I think you have to sit her down and say, you know what I said you should if you can make that kind of money? I really actually don't feel comfortable with you doing that. Or try to see what is she going to be doing on this account. There needs to be more of a conversation. Really easy opener. What's the deal with the ring light? Now, the interesting outfits, let's be honest, they could be just for her or for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Or it could be for a thousand things. Ring light, though, you could say, what's the deal with the ring light? And she's like, well, you remember when we were talking about OnlyFans? They're just opening and be like, listen, you know, it's your, your body and everything. But I just want to let you know, I would really be sad if you're doing this and you're just kind of uncomfortable. Say, so, you know, I thought it was just a joke at first. I do think there needs to be more of a conversation. Especially, you're, she's getting these packages. Ask her, what is up with all this? That being said, there's people that make a lot of money on there. Yeah. My friend's sister, man. And I think she knows, like, people are talking about it. So she posted some picture on her new car and her <laughs> lingerie. And she was like, y'all making fun of me because I have only fans. Look at this. And I was like, oh, girl, get it. Listen, if somebody wanted to pay money to look at all this, I'd have an OnlyFans, too. But let's just, I, I, I would have only, a, I'd be only fan. See, you say that. But I think if you put yourself out there, you maybe could get business. You, th- you want to subscribe? Is that what you get? I you don't. Subscribe? But if you had extra money, I'm hoping you'd be generous to throw it my way. I think what would happen is I would look at my subscriber list and see who is subscribing and probably be like, you know. <laughs> That's the thing. Maybe you don't look. Maybe I'm good. Maybe I'm good. Yeah. I think that. Do you think they ever look? Do they scroll through? Can you see who's paying you money? I assume you can. You have to be able to. You scroll through and go like, ah, oh, this is who's seeing me naked. I don't, I've never been on the site, so I'm not sure. And do tell. Do tell. I haven't been on it. What was the foot thing you were talking about doing there for a while? I have mentioned it like as a passing joke, and people must think I am on this because multiple people have asked me what website I use. I use no website. Boy, that is <laughs> a lot of interest you're getting on the feed, huh? I use no website. You know... I am not selling any part of my body for money Uh, or for anything. There is no trade. (laughs) No barter? No barter. No No chicken nuggets for feet pics? No. I'll give you some feet pics for chicken nuggets that I can commit to today. That's what you would, that's the bar that you're setting. You will sell feet pictures for chicken nuggets, not actual cash? Ah, It's been a while since I had a good, happy (laughs) meal. Zero at Y94.com. But maybe don't don't title it feet pics because I think our spam filter might nail that. <laughs> Headlines and what any forecast is dead.